Hello, my friends. It's me again. Uh, still walking our way through my uh, Garbage Pail Kids collection. Um, I thought we'd go next to uh, Late to School, which is a very recent uh, release from uh, Tops. This one is from... Let's take a look at the packaging here. Uh, does anybody see the copyright? I don't see it. There it is. 2020. Yeah, this one's from 2020. Very recent. Um, so this is the, uh, the store display box. Um, uh, you can buy these, uh, even if you're not a store, <laughs> uh, and it just pops open like this. And these are, these are what the packs looked like. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, on the outside, you can see some of the, uh, some of the guys here. Horrific, of course. Um, and let's see, what does it say? Look for exclusive GPK mascot sticker cards. So as you, uh, as you, as I mentioned before, when we went through these, some of these, depending on the packaging you purchase, you will get, um, different stuff inside. Uh, over here it mentions that you can look for sketch cards, autographs, printing plates, and more. Um, but I think that the mascot stickers only came with this particular box. Um, so yeah, they, they try to get you to buy all the different types of packaging. So let's take a look at late to school. Now I have some more packages in here. See, there's a couple different size of the, the packs. This is what's called, I believe a fat pack. So this is a bigger pack of cards. So usually these, these smaller packs come with eight cards each. And this one, you'll see, it says comes with 22 cards plus two exclusive faculty lounge stickers. And there, there you go again. You'll see with this um, with this particular package, you could get these different inserts, the faculty lounge stickers, and also they mention the purple sticker cards. So the again for this series, like with a lot of the recent series, they have um, different colored borders that are uh, different levels of rarity. And in this particular package, you could get the rare purple border cards. Uh, so I'm going to slide that guy back in there. And let's open this sucker up and take a look at these. Uh, now, the, obviously, the theme with this one is school. Uh, uh, late to school is the theme. So all of these are going to have that school theme to them. Uh, we, we start out with the garbage pail kid here getting dragged to school. And, of course, there's poop involved. Thank you, Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, now, the backs for this series are not like the more recent ones. They've actually, they tried to go back to the more uh, traditional, old-school Garbage Pail Kid backs. Instead of splitting things into sub-series and just having the name of that sub-series on the back, they've, they've gone back to these old-school type backs where they've got these goofy gags on the back, like these... This one's got this report card thing on the back with a basically like a uh, uh, some information about one of the characters and whether they're you know <laughs> what they're what they're doing in their classes and stuff and of course we also have the checklist cards and again they have so many cards in these series they actually have to split up the checklist so this is just the 100 A cards on this checklist, and then later on we'll we'll see a B checklist for the 100 B cards. So there's 200 in the base set, which is really quite a lot. And again, like this, this should look familiar. We've got the puzzle piece backs. Um, then this one has this weird, um, this weird back. It just says pale. <laughs> um, I I'm actually I actually don't really remember what 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 the concept is there. It's a little strange. Um, let's pull that guy out. So, oh okay. So this is actually uh, well that's odd. I don't know why I put that in there. I should move that to its own spot. This is actually even though it says four B, and this one also says four B. This is actually one of the um, mascot cards. Uh, so this should actually get its own spot. In here somewhere uh, I should probably set that up get a uh, get a separate uh, separate sleeve for that guy uh, but I'm, I'm glad I noticed that <laughs> I'm gonna set that aside and uh, 
and and put that in his in his, in his own sleeve because that should really be separate. That's a diff- separate card from this from this four B. And you'll notice I I did I do just stack the different borders. If I have multiple borders, I just put like the rarest one on top. Um, and I do have a couple, like I have, I have a plain border and then also a green border for this one. This one I have the yellow border, which is a little more rare than the green. But anyway, let's keep looking at these guys. We've got Homer Schooled and Sheltered Sheldon. So <laughs> he's homeschooled. He, he's in fact has the entire home strapped to him. This one reminds me of an, uh, an old school GPK, although it's not exactly the same. Misty Bus and Bus Stop Becky. She never, she never got out of that bus stop, huh? Here's the uh, the crossing guard. Looks like she's not really doing that great a job. She's staring at her phone instead. Distracted Denise. School buster. They're all getting like... Oh, okay. So the school bus is actually like a living creature that's like barfing up the kids. That's cool. <clears throat> Ross Pass. Slacker Simon and late Tate. Just strolling in late with breakfast, brushing his teeth. Still in pajamas. Okay. Uh, ditching Dirk and Truant Trevor. Trying to, trying to get out of school. But is being drugged back with a fish hook in his head. Intense. Wedgie Winston. Pulled up Upton. Oh, pulled Upton. Yeah. That's a familiar um, familiar gag for them. And this, this actually looks really familiar. Ringing Ringo and Alarm Bell. I'm pretty sure they had, there's another GPK uh, from an earlier series that looked almost exactly like this. Um, and let's look at the backs again. So we've got the uh, puzzle piece backs and another report card here for this character. Slacker Simon. Not doing so good. And we've got the, the bad gags again. Shows up a fraction of the time to math class and is periodically on time for science. Always running late for phys ed. This one I kind of like, this mad scientist guy, I like the green lighting and the weird like acid eating through his hand here. Alchemy and experimenting Xavier. Plus I like that because that's my son's name. But uh, let's see what we have. DIY. She is herself a craft project inside her locker. Very strange. Decorated Desiree. Here's where they took the, uh, the booger thing really just way too far. <laughs> Booger, Brittany, and Nose Goldie. Detain Dwayne and Disciplinary Ashton. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. I like that one. Every once in a while they get me with those names. Uh, and there's a weird... Is that a, is that supposed to be a window or a picture? It's people like uh, trying to escape the school, I guess, in the background. <laughs> Doug ate my homework. That's another pretty good... Looks like he ate more than the homework. He tried to eat the student there. Uh, we got more report card backs. Um, Ava Alibi. Telling Liza and spreading rumor. That one's kind of weird. I guess the idea is that we're, we're spreading rumors, but like it's a multi-headed person. Very strange. It's kind of metaphorical there almost. <laughs> Hope Scotch with a bloody dismemberment. Jumping Jenna. And that's a uh, one of those landscape guys. Hot Flora teacher. It's the hot for teacher. Vanna Halen. They, <laughs> they want to make it clear they're referencing the Van Halen song. <laughs> hot for teacher. Kick Mia. The, the, old, the old joke with the kick me sign, but he's like literally kicking right through her and there's blood spraying on the locker. It's, some of these are really just brutal. Pranked Pamela. It's not really a prank when it's murder. <laughs> um, and we've got the uh, puzzle piece backs and the completed puzzle. Uh, this guy should look familiar. That's like uh, one of the old original GPK. And I think that was kind of like one of the concepts for this um, for this series. That, that the like the old original GPK characters are like the, the teachers in the school. And these the new ones are the students. Uh, something like that anyway. Here's your old macaroni art with some craft glue. Crafty Chris. Peyton Airplane. Then again, this, yeah, this this series is pretty bloody. He's got like these uh, paper airplanes like embedded in his flesh. The blood coming down. Pepper Rally. And give me a Gia. <laughs> the, um, uh, 
uh, chair mail there. And there's my dog. Yeah, the, uh, the mailman just went by my house. That's why my dog was barking. So I think we can safely move on now. Uh, we've got Raising Hans and Call on Carl. He's really serious about getting called on. He's got his hand up on a post to make sure he's the first one seen. Um, and I got a purple border for this guy, you'll see. Uh, and here's Ricky Recorder. This one's a weird color. I don't remember what this color is supposed to be. It's it's not the yellow color. It's more of like a gold or a brown almost. I don't know. Uh, but I think that one's pretty rare as well. And this is another booger, booger themed one, of course. Um, we've got more of the report cards backs. Um, woody instrument. That's pretty good. Uh, Arlo TC. We got the RTC kid. He's got like a bandolier of pencils. Ulysses uniform. Another purple border guy there. Stuck Stewart and emoting AJ. I like this one. I like the detail on this one. I like that there are all these stickers on the on the binder. That's just cool because uh, normally you know the focus is on the the character and here the character is the background and the focus is on this this uh this notebook with all these stickers on it that's it just looks cool and it's got like the the obey sticker and <laughs> some famous symbology here you remember this from the like rolling stones logo and stuff that's just fun um let's see now we've got suspended susan who is for some reason hanging upside down in front of the school punished page and uh Ben dreaming and can't wake up. So this is like the the nightmare of uh, going to school naked, and and it it's even like it looks like a nightmare. It's like all green and wavery, and everybody's creepy looking. That's that's an interesting one. I'm not sure. I guess he's also looks like he's is he just embarrassed or is he like I don't know. He looks like he's straining or something. There is he trying not to pee or something. I don't know. With garbage pail kids, you never know for sure. Uh, and we've got more of these report cards and puzzle piece backs. Let's see what else we got. Next up is Held Back Hank, the much, much older kid in with the young kids because he's, uh, he's been held back so many times. First Grady. Uh, and then we've got G Geography. This one's kind of weird. She's like a globe, but she's leaking water everywhere. I'm not I'm not sure where they were going with this one. Greta Globe. It's like she's actually a globe, so there's actually water coming out of her. I don't know. Weird concept there. <laughs> I don't know if that really quite works. This one is a little upsetting. Monkey Barb climbing Chloe. Looks like an actual um, monkey type person. That is uh, a little unsettling. And we've got a... Uh, Braun bag in it and leftovers Lenny who is for some reason wearing his lunch bag and peeing in it I I don't know yeah some of these are just really strange they're just trying to go for the gross out I guess rubbed out Robert is actually erasing himself this is definitely an idea they played with before uh in previous cards they got a lot of these report card backs and uh more puzzle piece backs here and we've got a race chase. Heather Ball and whacked Wanda. She is getting hit very hard. And I I don't know if it's supposed to be that the ball has taken on the shape of her face. Because it's hit her face that hard. I guess that's the concept. Or does the ball have its own face? I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's a very violent hit there. Like she's flying out of her shoes. Her hair's... Sticking out the whole the whole place is like the ground is breaking apart, the color is changing in the background. It's very a lot of violence in there. <laughs> Here's Pass It Juan and Love Lester. So there's the love love note being passed directly through this guy's head. <laughs> um Glittery Glinda. Maybe a little bit too much glitter on the uh on the craft project there. Scarlet Sparkles. Read a book and simple Mindy. Now, this is like the um, Siamese twin concept that they've played with before. Uh, but this time, they're both trying to understand math. I don't know. Again, this feels like a weird, like, oh, they're, they're, they're trying so hard to understand it that their heads are, like, smoking. I see. But 
it, again, feels like a weird combination of things that don't really go together, but <laughs> uh, here we go. Now, I'm actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it, it looks like I actually did go ahead and get the complete, I think I collected the complete base set for this, for this series. Um, I'm not sure exactly why. <laughs> Um, this one doesn't really grab me that much, but I, I guess, you know, it, it's fun to collect them and, and the art is okay on this, on this series. So we've got Sissy Boomba and Sh Cher Leader, who is like, her pom-poms are people's heads that are barfing because <laughs> it's Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, and of course we got to have the guy eating paste. Here's Ethan Paste and Gluey Dewey and, uh, Restroom Rocco Smokin' Joe. Who I guess is like dripping grease everywhere. Uh, oh, and he doesn't let you pee unless you give him a tip. I see. So he's like the bruiser in the bathroom. It's weird that he's a that he's this greaser character though, which feels really out of date. <laughs> I'm not sure what they were going for there. Here's Staple Earl and Stapled Stew. So they they wanted to make it clear that staples were involved there. Okay. He's got stuff all stapled all over him. Bathroom pass, report card, absentee notice. And then we've got Brad Influence. <laughs> who this one is kind of fun because he's wearing a Minecraft chair, which I like the um I like the reference there. And they're they're trying I guess he's trying people are trying to uh for some reason trying very hard to convince him to do uh questionable things like smoke, go to a party uh make him cheat by giving him the test answers have him drink beer he's going he's he's got a lot of stuff going on there got another big sheaf of these report cards pierce pressure number two stew and lou stool oh that's just lovely so they took the number two from the the pencil and made it all about poop of course Ugh. and here we go again with the p P. Don and Whiz Kid William. Instead of peeing into the toilet, he's peeing on his books. Okay, sure. Uh, and again, the other one, we had one earlier where we had the boogers under the desk. Now we've got the gum under the desk, and this guy is actually attached to the gum under the desk. Chewy gum and Ben Chewed. And then we've got uh, the old uh, class president vote, but he's like, he himself has become the poster for himself, I guess. Cast your vote, running Ryan. We've got this uh, completed puzzle back. Port cards. We've got red, white, and blue, and old Gloria, an extremely patriotic student who for some reason has a face on her hand. Again, weird com combinations of things sometimes in this series where, you know, they just slap a couple of ideas together. There's no obvious connection between them. I kind of like the colors in this one. A lot of, lot of colors. Paint all, he's got paint all over. Paint all over. Messy Marvin. Tudor Tanya and SBD. Just, uh... Oh, I see. So she's farting on this guy and he's I'm trying to figure out if the books are actually coming out of her butt <laughs> or if he these these books were his books and she's like blowing them blowing them away it's not entirely clear um and now we've got like a Frankenstein type dude here Bill Boris and Level Levi uh yeah okay I guess this is a reference to shop class somebody made their own student in shop class geyser the water fountain is knocking his eyes right out this is one where you know some sometimes the art i like and sometimes it just feels a little phoned in this one feels a little phoned in to me there's really no like detail or like not a lot of uh work put into this one <laughs> the background is just a two colors i don't know okay so moving on we've got embarrassed harris and jim shower Covering the uh, the old favorite topic of the uh, group shower at the gym, uh, not not really a favorite topic actually. Very. Why do they were they all holding books in front of themselves? Okay. 
And then we've got uh, Suck Up Sasha and Peggy Pet, who's clearly meant to be the teacher's pet and even has a dog bone in a bowl and like leash on, which is going a little far. Uh, oh boy. Here we've got Absorb Brent, where the, the GPK is actually the dust that they pour on the barf. Lovely, lovely. And the other version here is Saw Dusty. Nice colors, at least. <laughs> They've got the, like, sparkling aroma coming off it, I guess. I don't think it's really that effective, <laughs> but okay. Uh, then we've got Saul Niter and Cramming Craig. Trying to get that... Trying to get that last-minute studying in. It looks like it's a little late, though. It's already 7.59, and his test is at 8. It's a little too late, dude. Uh, more report cards and puzzle pieces. Here we go. Skip Van Winkle. Catching his ease. <laughs> Catching his ease is, is pretty good. Don't wake until recess, it says. I see. And Say Cheese Luis and Picture Day J. Again, a weird combination of things. So it's like Picture Day, but also he's made of cheese. Which I guess makes sense this time because, you know, you say cheese when you get the picture taken, but still seems kind of weird to me. Uh, left Behind Leo and Where Are You? This is actually, they already, they're, they're already recycling jokes, I feel like. We had one earlier with the, the kid at the bus stop who was like, had been waiting so long that she turned to a skeleton. And here's a kid waiting to be picked up and he's having to like burn his homework to keep warm. From being there so long. Full course Mel and lunch tray. A GPK who has transformed into the school lunch. That's kind of a weird one. Uh, <laughs> Spitwad Todd. Maybe trying a little too hard to shoot that Spitwad. Sucked his own face through. Uh, calculator and always Dwight. That's fun. Oh, and here's, speaking of the school lunch, we're back there again with Hairnet and Sanitary, the lunch lady. And the GPK is actually the hairnet on top of the lunch lady's head. Which is a strange choice, but okay. And these I always like when they have a, when they, they do the whole meta thing and put Garbage Pail Kids on a Garbage Pail Kid. So this is the, uh, the kid selling you illegal Garbage Pail Kids from, <laughs> from his coat here at school. Uh, so that's fun. Illegal Eli. And Contraband Cory. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Carving Carter and Bucktooth. So the classic thing of carving stuff into the, uh, into the desk. And this guy's doing it with his incredibly sharp teeth. Which is very strange. Okay, and now we're getting... This is a actual faculty member here. We have Headmaster Aster. Principal Cal. Now the fun thing about this one is that in the background, looking out through the window, are all some a lot of old school um, GPK that you'll recognize from like the first series, second series. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, and here's his yeah, the alternate version. We've got Climbing Cleveland, the old climbing rope in Phys Ed, but it's snot, of course. And uh, Roped Rick. Jungle Jim. Um, it looks like the GPK is himself the Jungle Jim. Polly Playground. <laughs> Kicked Kyle and Rick Ball. His own head is the, uh, the kickball. Fortune June. Does anybody remember these fortune teller things? I remember when we used to make these at school. The different, uh, you fold the paper up and then it would tell the fortune if you, you had to, like, count so many times and open it different directions. And we've got the more backs here, the report cards, the puzzle pieces. Here's the other version of the fortune teller guy, Paper Piper. And his head is the fortune telling thing. Uh, and here's another weird one. Funny Floyd, class clown, Clyde. Okay, so he's the class clown. And he's squirting water from his flower, and he's got a balloon pencil. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that's gross. Frog eaten and dissect Sean. Of course, they've covered frog dissection before in earlier GPKs, but this guy is actually eating the frog, which is just really gross. Uh, copycat. They've done stretchy GPKs before, and here we go again. This guy's uh, trying to get a look at that other paper, Cheater Peter. This one I find really just really disgusting. <laughs> Uh, Ned Lice and Cody Closet. So, of course, there's always the the stories about head lice at school. And here's a gigantic one, apparently, like eating someone's head off. Just really disgusting. So thanks for that. <laughs> uh, some more report cards and puzzle pieces. What do we got here? Rider, block, and pencil holding. This actually reminds me of the... Uh, I think they had a card where they were basically doing Pinhead in one of the, uh, it must have been in Oh the Horrible or Revenge of Oh the Horrible, and this is a very, very similar card, but now it's a bunch of pens and pencils in the guy's head. Uh, and this one, again, if it reminds me of, uh, of GPK Past, there's, um, Split Kit is what this reminds me of, but this guy is Divide Ed, looks like he's, one half of him is a nerd and the other half is a jock, 50-50 Finn. And we're going back to boogers. So it's show and tell. Show and Ella and Leaky Lacey. And what she's showing is snot. So thank you for that. Uh, Sharp Penny and Sharp and Charlene. Uh, these characters, actually, these, these, both these two just uh, are the ones that showed up on the, on the box here. She actually appears to have a pencil sharpener inside of her head, which is uh, fascinating. Uh, and here's Lunchbag Larry, who has swapped his lunch bag for his head, which is a strange concept, but kind of fun in that uh, surreal GPK kind of way, with the face drawn on the on the lunch bag. And the other version here is Benny Bag Lunch. And then we've got Cramming Kramer and Memorizing Mike. Again, we've got another cramming card. Uh, again, another kind of... Uh, uh, duplicated gag, but, uh, and there's even the post-it that says exam tomorrow, just like the other one said exam eight o'clock or whatever. But this time, it, <laughs> the cramming is more literal. He's actually shoving the books into his skull, so that's fun. Hal Pass and Monty Hall. So we got the hall monitor here, but he's a little more strict than your average hall monitor. He's actually beating people here. Uh, and here's Bully Billy. I rule. And Jerky Jack. This one will again look familiar to old school GBK fans. This looks a lot like the... Uh, there were two uh, cavemen, and it was a caveman and a cavewoman uh, GBK, uh, one after the other. And it looked very similar to this, where the either the caveman was dragging the cavewoman or uh, the other way around. Um, so that's kind of a fun reference. Although the card isn't really that great. <laughs> And here we got the uh, the vampire guy, the goth guy, Vampy Val and Goth Gabe hanging upside down in his locker, with a bunch of a uh, <laughs> bunch of fun stickers on the locker. I like these. That's what makes this one a fun card. It's got the uh, goth sticker, the skull, the pentagram, the onk symbol. Just I like the just hang in there poster, but it's a bat. That's nice. And then it looks like death from Sandman, right? That's fun. All right, uh, and again, we got more of the report card backs, and then, oh, we've got the peeing guy again. So there was a, I remember there was a, there's a peeing, a character who was trying to go to the bathroom in a school in a, in one of the later, uh, GPK, uh, series, original series, and this reminds me of that guy, speechless and Burstin Thurston, but in this case, he, I guess he's nervous because of the presentation, and that's why he's peeing himself, I don't know, but... Yeah, that's pretty gross. Uh, what do we got here? Ira Robot. Class of 2239. <laughs> this is like some future school where the the robot is the student. Uh, but of course he's setting off a metal detector because he's a robot. Detector Dexter. Uh, this one's really... This one is actually really cool. <laughs> Mod Dale and Anatomy. Um, cause the, the details on that and the, and the colors is really good. Uh, it's like an anatomy model, but it's, you know, the GBK has become the anatomy model. So 
these are like actual guts, I guess. I don't know, but it's uh, it's cool looking. It's well done. Uh, and this is another fun school uh, concept that we all remember: the baking soda volcano. Here's erupt Sean and Blue Ribbon Randy. You're always the winner at the science fair, right? Is the volcano? So that's that one's fun. I like the way they've done that one. It's got a. It looks cool. I like the the lighting and stuff, and the the detail on it. And here's Elma Glue, <laughs> who's put glue all over her face and is now, like, yanking her own eyes out. So, I don't know how good an idea that was, Elma. Patty Paste. Oh, and here we go. So, here is the, uh, the cave woman alternate to the, uh, the jock earlier. Now we've got the cheerleader dragging the, uh, <laughs> the nerd boyfriend. Bully Billy and Jerky Jackie. So that's fun. I don't know why they didn't put them in sequence like in the original series cards. They had one right after the other. But uh, still, I love this one. I love <laughs> I love the art on this one. The, the, this a little sketch in a notebook. Loose leaf and sketchy skippy. Uh, making fun of the, uh, of the teacher. Uh, hot dog scented fart. Very nice. But that one's just really fun. It's another kind of meta one where the the sketch is, it's actually a sketch inside of the card. <laughs> and then we've got Confiscate Ted, oh, the dreaded uh, June drawer, right? Where the, the toys that the teacher confiscated would go and uh, you'd lose them. But this looks like there's actually a dude in there. <laughs> Poor Ted. And Contra Brandy. <laughs> so what do we got in there? We've got a uh, yo-yo. We've got GPK, of course. Got to have that. That's great. Uh, looks like spray paint, some comics, some gum, toys, headphones, <laughs> a pocket knife. That's pretty fun. Here's broken backpack. Yeah, a couple too many books in the in the backpack there. And Archie back. <clears throat> and we've got barf. <laughs> uh, barf bag, Barb, and lunch packing Pam. Oh, so this is the mom packing the lunch. And it's just barf. The the kid is not not too happy about. It. I guess that's Billy down there. It's Billy's lunch. I wouldn't be happy either, Billy. I think maybe you should buy lunch today. That's rough. Uh, we've got rainy Daisy. There's a really serious storm here. Good lord. Dawn wind. Everything's just flying apart. I think maybe you should stay home. Be quiet. And Noah talking. This is the the ancient librarian stereotype. Shh. But she's got uh, some serious um, spittle problem there. <clears throat> Donnie Dunce and Tim out. I guess he's been wearing that cap a lot because his head is shaped like the cap now. We've got a purple border for this one. Green on that guy. This guy we've seen on the puzzle backs. You'll see him over here. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is checklist. Actually, this is checklist A here, and then over here is checklist B. So those are fun, the checklists. Um, and Fail Dale with the F written right on his face. <laughs> that one's pretty fun. Uh, I'm guessing... Uh, there's F Jeff. Let's check his report card. I'm guessing he got all Fs. Yeah, all F minuses. Impressive. Always in the negative. Scored absolute zero on the final. Chipped over the finish line. Um, <laughs> oh, and here's the... Asking the girl out to the prom, not going so well for this poor guy. Nervous Neil, shy guy. Will you go to the prom? And he just barfed all over. I think the answer's going to be no, bro. I love this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorites in this series. Uh, with the, the classic yearbook with the lasers in the background, but done up in GPK style. With uh, him, him in a garbage can that says, school was garbage. Yearbooker in memory lane. I really love that one. <laughs> Just silly and, and fun. Um, here's Ted of the class. A student who is actually just ahead. Scholar Lee. <laughs> and again, we've got decapitation on this one. Graduation Dana and Pat toss. Instead of tossing her hat in graduation, she has tossed her entire head, I guess. At least she's happy about it. That's She's still still happy. That's good. <clears throat> all right we're getting to the end now actually we are at the end of the of the base set and then we've got uh some other guys here so we'll take a look at this guy so here's summer blake this seems like an appropriate way to end the uh 
the school uh, series is with the the kid leaving the school for the summer, and uh, he he wasn't taking any chances. It looks like he blew up the school on the way out. <laughs> Uh, there's a bunch of junk flying around him. Let's take a look at what all this stuff is. We got just a bunch of regular school stuff, I guess, like exploding out of the school. Yeah, he's ready for summer. He's already got the swim trunks on, the inflatable, the ice cream, ready to go. All right, now, besides the base set, I also have collected here, uh, I believe this is the, um, the faculty. Uh, let's see, where did we have that? written down somewhere so there was a there's a mascots subset that's what this guy is from but then there's also this uh extra set of the um the faculty and the faculty members are like i mentioned um old school gpk from uh from way back so this was kind of a fun way to like they they always find a way to work in like reprints of the old characters but i like that in this series they're not just reprints. They actually took the characters and reimagined them as faculty in the school, which was a fun idea. So here's Adam Baum, the classic guy, but now he's the science teacher, right? So he's got all these beakers and flasks exploding along with his head. So I really like this one. It looks it looks it looks great. The colors are great. Um, that's just a, a fun idea, a fun card. Uh, Beaker Barry is the alternate. So yeah, I think this is what they did. Is uh, each one of these. They have the A card is the character's original name on their original card. And then the B card is a new version of their name that's sort of uh, more angled towards this series, towards the school theme. So this guy is New Wave Dave is now the art teacher at the school, uh, the graffiti guy. And this is fun. They've got the one kid doing like Mona Lisa there and Starry Night. And they, these are all like f famous uh, art art artworks here. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got Pop Artie as the alternate guy. And here's Guillotina, who you'll remember. So now she's the, the shop teacher, <laughs> which looks like it's not a great idea. She's, like, uh, drilling through her arm. She's missing a leg. <laughs> and uh, here's her alternate name is Whittled Wanda. Uh, and then we've got Odd Todd, who, of course, rings the bell, which makes sense. And it looks like he has some uh, some helpers down there ringing some other bells. And uh, Conductor Tucker. Oh, maybe that's the idea, is that he's supposed to be the, um, the, school, uh, the school conductor, the uh, music teacher. I don't know. What does it say on the back? Let's check the back. Yeah, he's the music teacher, of course. Yeah, they tell you on the back in this subset what, what, the, uh, what that character is, is teaching, what their subject is. So here's Virus Iris, uh, who I always remember fondly. She was, like a, I think, the last card that I collected to complete my um, series one was Virus Iris. Maybe it was Sicky Vicky. It was, it was either her A or B. I can't remember. Um, but <laughs> here she is, Vaccine Maxine. That one's very, uh, very topical. <clears throat> She's the school nurse. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know if that's a good idea. Sick all the time. Rundown Rhoda will remember. She is the driving instructor. Which is, uh, looks like she gave, uh, gave that driver an F for running her over, I guess. Uh, driver's ED. Then we've got Russell Muscle, who I remember. He's the gym teacher, that makes sense. The big ripped guy, right? Sweaty Eddie. And <laughs> then we've got Rappin' Ruth. I'm guessing that Rappin' Ruth Hieroglyphics is the history teacher. Yep. <laughs> so that one's fun. Um, moving along, we've got Brainy Janie and Gigi Byte, who I guess is the computer teacher. Yeah, computers. Um, and then we've got Junk Food John. Uh-oh, Junk Food John is in health class? That's not a good idea. Uh, good sugars, bad sugars. <laughs> I think he's got that backwards. <laughs> and, uh, Lowell Carbs, which is a fun name. Uh, and here's Blake Flake enlightened lyle and uh let's see what what is he going to be the science teacher maybe oh okay so now we've moved on to a different subset i didn't notice that yet he's 1a of another yet another subset here so these are the class superlatives <laughs> this guy is the most enlightened from his class so again this is a subset of um of previously existing GPK characters that they're now um, giving this, you know, 
this different spin on uh this time they're they're giving them you know like all these superlative like most most uh most likely to etc type stuff so here we've got hot scott the old demon guy and uh oh and they've actually worked another um gpk into the background of this one which is fun and good lucas let's see what his superlative is he is the class hottie okay uh that makes sense and here's weird wendy she's got a different look now most goth okay that makes sense gothic grace and again they've got the original character name in the on the a card and then a uh uh you know more school oriented name on the b card here's furry fran and name jane let's see what she is best hair of course makes sense can't say i'm a huge fan of that of the art on that card it's kind of it seems kind of lame to me but moving along now we've got uh ashley can and bag laney who remember this character uh let's see what she's got going with her most likely to succeed <laughs> okay that's cool uh oh and then so this is the other um uh yet another subset so this is the um <laughs> These are the uh, mascots. So here's no Notre Lame, <laughs> Notre Notre Damon, and Lame Liam, uh, where I think they're basically parodying um, actual existing uh, school mascots here. We've got Fartmouth Frank. <laughs> it's a pretty great costume for Fartmouth, Mouthy Marty. And it just says the name of the fake school on the back. And um, Virginia Blech and Vomit Tess. Of course, it's barfing again. I love the I love the costume there though. I like the the head on top as the hat, and then the the costume is barf. <laughs> this is for Virginia Black, which of course is Virginia Tech. And then we've got Garbage Pail Sid and Trash Candy. So that's where this guy came from i don't know how i uh why i had that one stuck um up front with the uh, in completely the wrong place <laughs> but there we go that's where that one actually belongs i actually don't need this one i don't know why i have two copies of this same card but i'll leave it in there um and then we've got uh arm pete and brody odor now i wonder if i've got all these were there really only five i think i think there were uh i think i must have them all um but yeah those are fun i like those and there's it's this was it was a pretty fun set i have to admit going through it again um with the the class superlative and the mascots and the, the faculty subsets at the end uh, that's just a fun concept and and uh they did do some pretty good art in here and like <laughs> cards like this one were really fun and it does end up being a pretty good theme for them to cover uh, even though they did, they did kind of reuse some gags throughout the series, uh, even in, even in this single series, and, but it was still, it's still, it's pretty fun, it's a pretty fun series, um, so there you go, that's, um, Garbage Pail Kids Late to School from 2020, uh, I do still have a couple more binders I can go through, uh, so I certainly will do that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll um I hope you'll watch the future videos. So uh thanks for watching.